Hello everybody from Plant Reviews UK. Today is the 18th of May and I'm talking today about the Tulip, uh, the tulip Sky High Scarlet. Um, unfortunately, uh, we had a pretty bad weather in the last few days, so the beautiful red blooms of this tulip have been pretty damaged by rain and cold in the uh, past few days. Indeed, you can see this. Uh, uh, spots uh, of uh, yeah, uh, and I believe this is due to the damage of the rain and of the cold as well. Uh, we had a very cold uh, spring in general this year, and I didn't have uh, a great uh, blooming of uh, tulips in most of the varieties. Indeed, there's another one that was affected by the bad weather. Anyway. I decided to uh, take a video of this tulip, uh, both to uh, talk a little bit about the tulip and also to show you uh, the uh, pollination of the tulip. So, uh, because I like, I love red tulips and uh, I really would like to show you the uh, pollination. So, the Sky High Scarlet Tulip is a tulip that uh, uh, is a single late tulip. Indeed, uh, we are now in the 18th of May, and uh, yeah, May is basically the last uh, month for tulips blooming. Very few are able to bloom until early June, but most of the time, yeah, it's basically one of the latest tulip to uh, bloom. Uh, this is a single late tulip that is each bulb produces just one flower and late because they bloom in May. Uh, the most of the tulips uh, bloom between March and April. Uh, the uh, tulip uh, is called uh, Sky High Scarlet due to the fact that uh, the size is about 90 cent can be up to 90 centimeters tall anyway I have it in a pot and my tulips are about I would say 60 centimeters tall so still quite tall and uh, the color is a very bright red. I wouldn't say scarlet red, to me it looks more like uh, um, uh, cherry, well not really cherry red, but I would say just bright red. It's not like the scarlet to me is a little bit more orange. Uh, anyway, it's absolutely a beautiful red tulip and uh, it is quite big. Uh, it is now, yeah, it's bowl shaped. Uh, I would say that the length of each tepal is about uh, six, seven centimeters. And uh, in addition to being this beautiful red, all over the center is bright uh, yellow. The uh, this tulip is perfect for borders from mid also to back border because it's a very tall tulip and uh, the beautiful color obviously will not go unnoticed in a garden and uh, they're obviously great in pots uh, in patio uh, in a patio. Uh, the uh, stems are quite strong but considering how tall they are they are better protected against the wind. Uh, I had it in my um, allotment that is quite windy but likely thanks to I would say a lot of weeds probably they kind of protected the tulip stems. And you can see they're very nicely uh, tall and sturdy uh, even with the wind that we had in the past few days. Uh, however, obviously, if you don't have a protection of weeds around or other plant, uh, the blooms might end up broken by the wind as this al tulip of another variety. Uh, the hardiness of this tulip is general for uh, uh, most of the tulips uh, in the USDA uh, zone 3 to 8, so uh, can, it's hardy throughout the UK as well as in many temperate and cold countries. And uh, uh, tulips, uh, including the Sky High Scarlet, need well drained soil and full sun, or at least partial shade, but they do a lot better in full sun. Uh, the bulbs need to be planted in autumn uh, when uh, um, they are for sale, uh, so usually they are for sale already from late August or September, but it's better to wait until November to plant the tulips because this way the uh, ground is already quite cold, there's less pests around and uh, the frost would come uh, after usually a few uh, weeks, so there's less chances for rodents to dig out the bulbs because they really are fond of tulip bulbs and lost many due to uh, rodents. I'm not too sure if they were squirrels, rats or mice, but I've seen all of them around my allotment, so definitely. Uh, if you know that uh, there's these animals around, uh, ensure to protect your tulip uh, with 
uh, for example, a metal net above the pots until the tulips uh, germinate. Uh, after, uh, sorry, the tulips will, uh, the leaves will start sprouting between late autumn and winter, and uh, the tulips will bloom in uh, either late winter or spring, according to the different varieties. As I said, this one is a single late, so one of the latest tulip to bloom. So for pollinating the tulips is actually uh, quite easy. The thing is that some tulips are sterile and some other tulips don't really um, develop a seed pod, develop seeds if they are, if they are pollinated uh, from the same variety. So what I will do is just taking some pollen. You can see that these are, there are six uh, There are basically six uh, stamens, sorry, the six anthers that are uh, bright yellow, while the center there is this triangular area that is the female part. So what you do is taking the pollen from one tulip, so I take this pollen from an anther, you can see on the... Um, you can see on my uh, paint brush or my brush there is a little bit of uh, yellow uh, against the green background I'm just trying to focus on okay probably it's better here so you can see here the yellow against the green background of the hair of the uh, paint brush so this yellow is uh, the pollen that I got from the uh, anther of the tulip like this and then I uh, basically uh, put it on the stigma that is this uh, kind of triangular uh, shaped um, area in the uh, tulip and it is basically a, a, a columnar area with this uh, an ending in this triangular uh, shape uh, most tulips however uh, do better when they are pollinated from uh, other varieties as well so I have here uh, some pollen I took uh, a few uh, weeks ago and I kept in the fridge from another beautiful red tulip that I have that is the tulip parade and has a very black pollen so what I will do I hope that uh, you can see, so I put the here, I put the pollen here just to avoid it uh, uh, being blown off by the wind. So I just have here some still remnants of the pollen of the of the tulip sky and scarlet. I'm just trying to brush it off with my fingers. Okay, so then I take this pollen from here from the paintbrush so from this jar so I just put the paintbrush here and you can see there is some black so you can see now that there is some black on my paintbrush so this black is the pollen of the tulip parade is a beautiful tulip that has uh, uh, bright red flowers with a black center not yellow as the sky high scarlet I think I like more the tulip with a black center I'm just trying now to focus to focus on the uh, paintbrush yeah, you can see uh, now that the black of the pollen against the green of the paintbrush. So what I will do is uh, uh, pollinate the stigma of another flower and you can see this yellow stigma that is getting covered by the black pollen of the parade, of the tulip parade. So. 
I do hope that uh, the seeds will develop so I will repeat uh, the procedure in other flowers for example this one that is well open and I hope to get some seeds uh, the seed pots will develop uh, between uh, uh, late spring and early summer just uh, and uh, yeah they will uh, ripen just before the leaves die down and that's the time when you harvest the seed pod uh, remember that uh, the seed pod might open uh, quite quickly so it's better to protect the seed pods that are developing with a very fine net so you don't lose to uh, lose uh, you don't risk to lose the seeds if the seed pods split open and then you can uh, keep them uh, indoors uh, um, protect against the weather until autumn because the seeds of the tulip need a period of cold um, a period of cold uh, to tri in order to, tri to trigger the germination in spring I made some videos about uh, uh, how to sow tulips and I also uh, made a video about the uh, tulips growing uh, that I uh, sown last uh, that I've sown last uh, autumn they were the seeds from the tulip Barcelona and actually I can show you in this video how they are now they are here so they are actually uh, developing quite uh, well i planted them last autumn so they uh, went through all winter uh, this is the tulip barcelona seedlings so and they germinated in spring and now they are growing as usual i hope you enjoyed the video if you like this video it would be great if you can please give a thumbs up and if you uh, like this video and the other videos on my channel it would be great if you can please subscribe it is completely free for you but in this way you uh, are able to support my channel because youtube get notified uh, by when i get a new subscribers as well as more likes on the video and in turn can support uh, my channel through advertisement and i can make more videos show you more plants thanks very much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye